And in New York, the corporate pranksters, the Yes Men, held a news conference Tuesday to unveil their fake climate change product known as the Survival Ball. What you're seeing here are Survival Balls, and they are self-contained units and that, that will allow somebody to survive no matter what happens to the climate. So basically, they in the future will contain all of these survival systems that are going to allow these people to live even if everybody else out there dies. They can survive six months of drought, category four hurricanes, any kind of tornado. Yes, men member Andy Bickelbaum stressed the survival ball's importance in the lead up to the Copenhagen talks on climate change. It's a scenic, uh, mediagenic way to call attention to what our leaders need to do in the run up to Copenhagen. The U.S. is far behind everybody else in the world. We need to get our act together and actually institute civilized uh, limits on carbon emissions the way the rest of the world has done. And these balls are part of the effort to draw attention to that. Bicklebaum was later arrested by police on charges apparently stemming from an old bicycle fine. The action came one day after the s -Men distributed thousands of copies of a fake edition of the New York Post focused on the climate change crisis.